Hey everyone, James with TFB TV. I'm here at TriggerCon 2018 in Seattle, Washington, and I'm at the Master of Arms booth. This one, it's right when you walk in, you see this, and this kind of caught my eye. I heard some buzz yesterday from Range Day. Didn't get to make it to Range Day, but I heard about the lightest production AR-15, like a three pound AR-15. Lo and behold, I walk in this morning, I meet Drew, and he tells me about the Master of Arms AR-15. Drew, tell everybody what it is. So this is the Enyo, uh, that's what we call it. It's a 3.65 pound rifle with optics, ready to go. I promise it's all here. Uh, there's basically no mil spec parts on here anymore. We machined the receiver set out of Tenelum 7095. That allowed us to go even thinner than you could get with 7075 or 6061 while still maintaining the strength. Uh, we've got a half inch barrel in here, so to make sure that that stays accurate, we tensioned it inside of our carbon fiber forend, which we also make. I'll just say that right now, we make it all. Let's see, we've got our titanium bolt carrier group. We call it the Nix. It's about half the weight of a mil spec carrier. So this is our secondary dead blow system. Um, let me hold it like that. So as you can see, uh, right now I think I've got a stainless ball in here with some waveform washers, uh, front and back. This will ship with a couple different weights of spring and a couple different weights in ball. I think it ships with a aluminum ball, a stainless ball, and a tungsten ball, depending on what it is you want to do. Uh, what this is going to do is, during your cycle, this is going to pop open violently when, you, when it gets exposed to the gas. As this goes back, this ball is staying in place and pushing it forward, slowing it down. Get to the rear of the cycle, and the bolt wants to bounce off of the buffer and come back this ball is still going that way, slowing it down again. And then lastly, as you return to battery, you slap it in, and this ball is gonna hold it in place. You're not gonna get any carrier bounce. We like this, and we designed it for SBRs, especially suppressed SBRs, which just run too fast to be reliable. Um, basically what happens is uh, your, your bullet doesn't present in the magazine fast enough when your bolt carrier is going back and forth, so you get failures to feed. Um, but we also like this in the three gun world and the long range world. If you've got a heavy gun with a big bull barrel and a lot of stuff like that, and you put a lightweight bolt carrier in there with a lightweight buffer, um, the mass that's hitting your shoulder every time you pull the trigger is about half the weight, so it's giving you about half the impulse. Add to that our dead blow system and your reticle is video game smooth. It just doesn't move. Uh, this sells for 450 bucks as you see it right now. That's with the carrier or the dead blow system, all the different weights, all the different springs. We'll sell just a carrier alone and we will sell it complete BCG without the dead blow system. So there's something for everybody. If you want really lightweight, just get the carrier, put your own bolt in there, that's fine with us. Um, and if you want the full thing, it's 450 please. 3D printed titanium muzzle brake. Uh, we made it a three port brake and it was actually so uh, effective that it would pull the gun out of your hands. So we reduced it to a two port brake and this is probably how it'll sit for now. That's pretty um, cool. Yeah, we yeah. like it a lot. The, the muzzle nut is built into this. So this is actually what you torque down to tension the barrel inside of our carbon fiber forend. Uh, the carbon fiber forend is just M-lock everywhere, uh, except we have these knockouts on top because I burned my fingers a bunch of times on the gas tube. Um, the barrel is our own. I think it's a stainless uh, half-inch profile the whole way down, so it's less than a pencil barrel. It's a, I don't know, pen barrel? What do you want to call it? Yeah, yeah. Um, receiver set is Tenelum, uh, 7095. Uh, great stuff. It allowed us to go even thinner and lighter. Um, I think it's one of the lightest receiver sets out there, but as you can see, there's no plastic in it, and we didn't put a bunch of holes in it to allow a bunch of dirt and sticks and stuff to get in. Uh, the stock is ours as well. Uh, this one's rifle length. We have a carbine length as well, and we have a pistol tube, which works with a gearhead, or um, I think there's a couple other vendors you can stick on there. Uh, carbon fiber, super light. Um, I've got M-Lock up here, so you can put a sling wherever you want. These are for sling swivel studs. Oh yeah, that's that's actually yeah. You get your QD studs built into it. Yep. And then uh, tell me about the bolt carrier group. Is that the one you just showed us? This one's just in gold. Yep, that one's in gold. This one comes with our rifles. The ones we sell have uh, aluminum, titanium, nitride uh, DLC coating, which is awesome. It's super hard. It's super slick, um, and allows us that's to how play you with. Describe me, you know. Sometimes that's, <laughs> that's, that's what I've heard. It's the hair. Um, <laughs> yeah. Everything that slides around is nickel boron coated because that's the good stuff. Yes. Yeah, sure. um, 
The carrier itself is made out of solution treated in aged titanium, uh, which is stronger than your regular stuff. Um, it allows us to make it really thin. Yeah, and trigger. I noticed you got a flat face trigger in there. What are we talking, trigger weight? Um, AR Gold. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't make it because we found AR Gold, and mm -hmm. if you've ever tried one, you'll probably never go back either. Okay, so you make everything but the trigger. We, we don't make the safety. We don't make the magazine release. Uh, we do make the mount. So this is 3D printed titanium as well. I noticed that. Yeah, tell me about it. It looks pretty lightweight. The one you see is for the Razor. Um, the one, I think we'll have one for a Venom and... Um, Let's see, the Viper. So basically the whole Vortex line we've got, I think Burr's Fast Fire and Doctor and stuff will bolt up to some of those. We've also got an RMR mount, which is a little bit more solid than this one for more of a military customer base. Sure. But I think it still weighs like 0.8 ounces. Mm -hmm. are, are these for sale yet? Oh yeah, and yeah. What are they running? Uh, let's see, I think it's 3,800 as you see it, mm -hmm. 32 without the optics. Mm -hmm. And did this one get shot yesterday? Oh yeah. Um, I think we did a thousand rounds. Okay. So this one probably saw a third of that because okay. we had three rifles out there. Mm -hmm. um, I've got 5,000 rounds through my own personal one. Um, I've been trying to break it for two years. I have not been able to. <laughs> okay. okay, and Drew, I see that you've got a, a very interesting suppressor core here is, is really unusual looking. It's Tell me about it. Kind of alien, right? Yeah. Uh, so definitely the hardest thing I've ever modeled, but a lot of fun all the same. So it's semi baffleless uh, monocore 3D printed suppressor. So it's a one piece design. You put a sleeve over it and it's a suppressor. We have an SOT. We will sell it to you as a suppressor. If you're from, you know, California like we are, we'll just sell you this and it's a muzzle brake. So you've got one here sleeve, yeah. right? We've yeah. got one on a rifle. Um, I'm not sure what it weighs. It's about four and a half pounds, which is a, probably the lightest suppressed rifle I've ever heard of. Mm -hmm. What's, what was the design philosophy behind this monocore suppressor? You know, I took an old uh, expired finish patent of a guy who, you know, did some weird machining. And honestly, uh, I accidentally tried to shell it in uh, SolidWorks and it worked. And so I just kind of went from there. Mm -hmm. I came up with this design completely organically and uh, it was a Hail Mary shot. We put it on a gun and it worked really well. Mm -hmm. So we're pursuing it. you guys it. are selling these now? Yes. As well? And yes. what do they run? We're not quite sure. Um, it's gonna be about the $350 right. mark. So we're, we're putting this as a semi-disposable, you know, there's no reason not to put one on every gun gotcha. you own. Okay, so yeah, low price point. Low price point, low maintenance. You can take the sleeve off and put this in the dishwasher. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. There's no baffles, there's that. no wrenches. Yeah, yeah here, <laughs> in mine too. Yeah. Um, and then it tightens down with your typical AR castle nut wrench. Okay, cool. And uh, are we talking in canal for the, the construction of the, the actual? Just titanium on this one. We've got a bigger one coming out. Um, I want to print one in Inconel. Uh, we have the capability, but it's a lot heavier and lightweight's our game. And so you're talking about right now, the stack you're holding or the core is titanium. Yes, oh, this awesome. entire thing is titanium. The sleeve is titanium. We had to make it out of titanium because we didn't want the coefficient sure. of heat to let your sleeve go. Um, so it's a 100% titanium suppressor. Okay. Well, thanks, Drew, for speaking with me. Really appreciate you being on TFB TV. We're going to go check out some more TriggerCon. I'm going to bring you guys the stuff. Uh, thanks again. I really appreciate it.